Understanding, I was hesitant. A guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to delve into a common English phrase, I was hesitant. Understanding this phrase is crucial for mastering nuanced English communication. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you use it confidently in your conversations. I was hesitant, is a phrase used to express reluctance or uncertainty about doing something. It implies that the speaker was not immediately willing or confident to proceed with an action. This hesitation can be due to doubt, fear, uncertainty, or a desire to avoid making a mistake. 1. I was. This part of the phrase is in the past tense, indicating that the hesitation occurred in the past. 2. Hesitant. This adjective describes a feeling of pause or delay due to uncertainty or doubt. It's important to note that being hesitant doesn't mean a permanent refusal, but a temporary state of indecision. This phrase is commonly used in situations where you need to express your past feelings of uncertainty. For example, in personal stories, I was hesitant to try sushi for the first time. In professional contexts, I was hesitant to accept the job offer without knowing the team. Don't confuse with, I hesitated. While similar, I hesitated, focuses on the action of pausing. Whereas, I was hesitant, emphasizes the feeling of reluctance. Avoid overuse. This phrase is best used for situations where your reluctance played a significant role in your decision-making process. Let's practice with some sentences. 1. I was hesitant to speak in public, but I eventually overcame my fear. 2. She was hesitant to share her opinion in the meeting. Try creating your own sentences using, I was hesitant, to solidify your understanding. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of, I was hesitant. Remember, becoming fluent in English involves understanding these subtle nuances. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.